Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you, uh, making a funky geometric background. And I'm using some solid color cardstock, some basic dyes, you're gonna love it. Here's where my inspiration came from. I've got my saves folder on Instagram and I got all my favorite things. This is an incredible artist that I follow and I fell in love with this geometric painting. And I wanna to try to do something similar on a card inspired by this painting. So I took out 12 different colors of solid color cardstock. This is just pulled it right out of my drawer, different brands. I just pulled some colors that I like. So for six of the colored cardstocks, I'm trimming two inch by two inch squares using the old Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. Uh, of course you could do whatever size square you wanna do, or you, if, you know, maybe if you have a square die, that would work too. Uh, but so I went ahead and trimmed six squares. Now for the circle part, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp circle dies, nested circle dies. These are the two smallest circles in the die set. And I put those together to kind of make this, you know, wreath shape thingamajiggy, like ring, right? So I'm gonna make six rings for the six squares. And I'm trying to be as precise as I can, but if I'm being honest with you, like basically the whole time I'm winging it, like I do in life, I wing it. And um, it ends up to be a little bit janky, but that's okay, because this, this is a trial run. I ain't giving up on this idea. When I get an idea stuck in my bonnet, I gotta just, you know, and this isn't, like I'm thinking after this, I might have to maybe design a die set so you could do this idea and be very precise with it. I don't know, I'm chewing on it. I'm marinating on it. You know how I say I like to put things on the back burner? Just let, let the idea sit on the back burner, let it simmer for a while and see if it pans out. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I decided my squares were too big. The two by two was too big for me. I trimmed it down to one and three fourths by one and three fourths. What I'm doing now is I'm trimming some little slivers of foam tape to put behind each one of these rings. I know exactly what you're thinking. You're like, what? Are you crazy? That's a lot of work. And it is. But I knew at the end of the day, I was going to want these rings to be popped up. So the heart wants what the heart wants and you got to give it to it. Sometimes. Yeah. And so as you can see, I'm keeping with the color family here, like the lighter yellow on the darker uh, ye yellowy orange square, lighter aqua on the darker aqua, lighter green on the darker green. You, you get the idea. And I like how this looks. Looks really good. Right about now is where she starts to go off the rails because I need to cut each one of these squares into fourths. So every square is going to become four little pieces. Yes. Yeah, so you need to find your halfway measurement. If you're good at math, this will be a breeze. I'm okay at math. I mean, I always got good grades in math back in the day, but you know, moving here to Germany, I've had to help my kids with their math homework. And my little one, Emma, she's in third grade here and she's in the German school. And the numbers, they write them a little bit different here. They put that dash on the seven and their one has like a little swoopy thing in the front of it, almost looks like a seven to me. So I get a little bit um, confused on that, but the concepts are the same. They do some things a little different how they go about solving it, but um, getting off track. Cut all these squares into quarters, and now I have these little white squares that are gonna be backers. I covered them with tape runner, and I'm piecing all these quarters together. It's almost like making a quilt. Maybe there's even a name for this quilt pattern in quilting. I don't know what it is, but would this not make, with these colors and this pattern, not make the most gorgeous quilt you ever seen in your entire life? I mean, to, I don't even think I'd put it on my bed. I'd hang it on the wall. You know what I mean? Like when something's that pretty, you don't, you don't want to use it. You just want to look at it. So, but I can see right now that my rings are not really lining up and the edges of my squares are not lining up. It was a little disheartening, you know, because that perfectionist in me is like, I wanted to start over, but I was too, too far in the game, too far. You know, if you've already ate three fourths of the candy bar, you might as well just finish it off. That's what I say. So I am, I'm going to take all these little squares that I cleaned up with the paper trim, clean up the edges, cover in another panel with tape runner. That way I can adhere all these happy little colorful squares together. And I mean, I don't know about you, 
But this just thrills my soul to no end. I, you know, some people like cutesy, cutesy critters, and some people like foliage and florals and classy and elegant. But this right here, this is where it's at for me. You know, as the teeny boppers say nowadays, this is my jam. Yep, I love it. This is uh, the sweet spot for old Laura Fedora. So I'm trimming up the edges on that panel. I'm gonna cover the back with a little foam tape and pop it up on a nice white card base. I like to give a little nice white edge to frame it just so. Now I gotta show you back the original painting that inspired me just to show you the two. See that? It's not exact, but you get the idea. I love it. Now for the sentiment, I am using this Love You Word Die by the one and only Kathy Zilski. And let me tell you, I went through about 20 different word dies and stamp sets trying to figure out the right, just the right fit for this card. I don't take it lightly, but Kathy Zilski, she gets me. She knows what I like. I put some foam tape on the back of this, popped it up right in the center, and I am not going to put any embellishments on this puppy. I just can't do it. You got to know when to roll them and know when to fold them. And don't look too close though, because you can see the imperfections. See that? But if you hold it away just a little bit, let your eyes cross. She looks like a masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.